Hey, why are you stood there? I'm supposed to be meeting the landlord for our new place. He should be here in a minute. We well, got pretty lucky getting this place, especially so cheap. Well, it's fine, but I've got a few complaints. Ah, this should be him now. It's open, come in. I hope it's Jackie Chan. What? Why would our landlord be Jackie Chan? Would be cool though. Hello, Dan. Hello, Murray. Oh, Rad, it's you. I thought it was our landlord. You didn't see Jackie Chan on the way here, did you? So, do you like your new home? It's fine. There are a few things I need to tell the landlord, though. Oh? What do you need to tell him? Well, downstairs is a beauty salon and we keep hearing the ladies nattering all day and we're right by a really busy road and buses and stuff keep going past and it's really hard to make videos. Okay, anything else? Did you mention the main road noises? I literally just mentioned that. Oh, I wasn't listening. My mind tends to wander when you're moaning. Oh, and the flat was advertised to have two bedrooms, but it doesn't, so I've had to put my bed in the studio. It all fits though, right? Well, yeah, but... It's a bit of a pain, though. Okay. Is that it? Oh, and there is a huge bug in the bathroom. Hi, guys. What you up to? Having a nice day? See? Isn't that the bug from your old place? I... Uh... Hey! Small, green and ugly. You called? Did you invite this thing here? Bam? Yeah, he's cool. I thought we all liked him. How about I order us a pizza tonight and we watch Dawn of the Dead? The original, of course. Okay, he can stay. Woo! So, any other complaints? Uh, the noisy road was the main one, so no, no other complaints. Well, I'll make a note of them and see what I can do, but I'm not sure if I can control noise. Well, I'll tell the landlord when he's here. He is here. Where? Hello, I am Radley Carrot, your new landlord. Bum, bum, bum. What? How? So, you're the manager of the OddPod channel and our landlord? Actually, no, I've been replaced as manager of OddPod, but I wanted to stay close to make sure my replacement did a good job. Yeah, couldn't be any worse than you. Wow, I'm sorry that you won't be our manager anymore, but it's nice that you'll still be around. How did you get this place anyway? Well, I used the money I got in my redundancy package to buy this place just before you moved in. I bought it from a Mr. Chan. What? Well, I don't really know what to say. It's going to be weird having a new manager. I hope he's good. I'm sure he will be. Oh, Dan? Don't you have a show to do? Hmm? Oh! Hey everybody, welcome to the Odd Pod Show, episode 7. What was that? Our new intro and logo aren't ready yet. Oh. Do we have any segments ready? Uh, you got any trading cards or stickers? Yeah, loads. Well, that's one segment then. Oh yeah. Okay, now it's time for Temporary Blindness. This is Temporary Blindness, the part of OddPod where I open cards, pogs, stickers and other things you don't know what's inside until you open them. And this one we have Brain Straining Doodle Wonkers. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't actually know what these are. I've had them um, ready to open for a while. Um, I believe they're from 1996, but I never saw these back in the day, so I don't really know what they are. I don't I don't know if they're based on maybe a comic series, or maybe they're just their own little creation, or... I don't know. Um, there's not much about it on the back. Let's see, you can make your own Doodle Wonka. I'm guessing they're Doodle Wonkers. <laughs> but yeah, Brain Straining Doodle Wonkers from, I, I believe, 1996. So you got five cards inside every pack, puzzle and game cards, toy and stickers. Toy? What's that? Right, yeah. So let's move these ones aside. Let's open them. And if you do remember these, um, please uh, comment below, because I do not know these. Um, never saw these as a kid. At least I think. Maybe some might spark my memory, but I don't think so. And that's just... Um, that didn't work out, did it? Um, okay. <laughs> ah, there we go. 
Okay, oh god, okay, right. So let's see what we've got. First card, so this is number four, and that that says Risable Uber Flanken. I'll take it that's what that's called, maybe? At the back, uh, circle the number that tells you how many faces are shown. Circle the number that tells you. Um, okay, so one, two. What? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next. Uh, so it's got a number on it, and that's a ring skink. Yep. Uh, the largest poisonous snake is the boa constrictor. Do you mean venomous? Uh, the boa constrictor isn't poisonous. It suffocates its prey by squeezing it. Oh, it's a true enough. <laughs> I was really confused then, because it can't be poisonous, because it'll be venomous, not poisonous, because you'll have to eat it. Uh, oh, so it's like a true or false thing, even though it gives you the answer right in the front, which is, yeah. Next up, oh, we've got the ring skink. <laughs> These are so weird. Um, in Michigan, scientists have found a mushroom-like fungus that covers 30 acres of land and is the largest known thing to live on Earth. Wow. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, next up, it's easy to create your doodle wonkers. Ah, so you take the shape... Are they stickers? I think they're stickers there, aren't they? So I take it that's the shapes, and you've got a... What? <laughs> Assemble pieces, why not? Oh, 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 oh it's building stuff. Um, some of you, if you've been with OddPod for a while, um, you'll know that I hate building stuff. I don't... No! <laughs> Next packet. Yeah, hate building stuff. Just annoys me. I'm just not smart enough. Right. Da, 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 da. Let's see what we've got. So we've got a lesser clondy. The back. They're kind of like um. Do you know the Ricky Gervais books? Um, Flanimals. If you've ever read those, they're really good. But yeah, they're kind of like those in a way. The bark of a redwood tree is fireproof. Fires in Redwood Forest take place inside the trees. Okay, I didn't actually know that. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Um. Oh God, that's um. Imperial Schnazola. Schnazola. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how many words can you find in skateboard? Example: brakes. Rod. Um. Dart. That's it. If you, I don't know, if you see how many you can find in the comments below, how many words can you find in skateboard? So yeah, comment below. There you go. <laughs> Some for you to do. Oh, less a clundy again. Oh, which one is different? Um, it's hard to look through the viewfinder thing. Uh, I don't actually know. I can't see a main difference. There probably is if I don't. Look at it. Aha! Ah! He's got little frill things on his wings. The other ones don't. I win! Uh, oh, and then we've got stickers for another um, Doodle Wonker there, and the things that I'm not doing. Uh, final packet! Here we go. So, yeah, comment below. Let me know if you remember these, because, yeah, I don't, but I, can't, I think I would have quite liked them as a kid. They're a bit quirky, a bit weird. I like them. So the back we've got a great horn flab, and this is how many words can you find in porcupine? Oh, we've got another for you, people. So there you go, porcupine. For example, rope. So yeah, how many words? So <laughs> please do your homework <laughs> and um, comment below, and yeah, you won't get attention. Uh, circle the number of circle the number that tells how many eyes are shown. Oh, no. At the back though we have a fuma fnik. Beautiful. Uh, we have a plodding gretch. Oh god, that's a strange one, isn't it? Kind of inventive, I like him. Um, a spider web is stronger than steel. If steel was stretched as thin as a web, the web would su would support the weight. Cool, okay. And, oh, it's the same one we had last time. Another doodle wonker. So, yeah, that is... Um, what were they called again? Brain Straining Doodle Wonkers. So please, I, I kind of like these. They're um, they're not your normal trading cards. Well, not exactly trading cards. They're not your normal card collecting things because they've got like little puzzles on them. They've got like you know true or not kind of things. You know, 
teaches you stuff. It, it's kind of cool. And then at the end, you get to build your own thing. Even I wouldn't have liked that, but it is kind of cool. I like it. It's different. So please, comments below. Let me know if you had Doodle Wonkers, because they are quite strange. Murray, are you ready for Murray's mail? No, I'm waiting for the big nose guy to deliver it. Well, if he hasn't printed it yet, just check on the computer. What? He just prints off the emails and gives them to you. You didn't know that? Of course I knew that! I'm gonna go check my email. Okay, you do that. Okay, I'm going to go now. Good luck with the new manager and I'm sorry about the traffic noise. It's okay. At least I have a roof over my head. Thanks, Rad. Well, I'm sure you'll look after this place, but I will be visiting every so often for inspections. Yeah, I thought you would. See you soon, Rad. Okay, time for another segment. Okay. Okay, now it's time for the home video clip. What's the matter, Dan? You're not letting me come down. <laughs> come on, get him down, Jay. Come on. Get him down. <laughs> I do it on you. Go there. Oh, I'll go and find that thing. If you would like to send in a home video clip, contact us at artpartshow at hotmail.co.uk. Hello, Mr. Marie. I have your mail. Why, thank you. Uh, You're fired. What? What did I do? You've been printing off my emails and delivering them to me. Well, yeah. You didn't think people were actually posting the mail to us, did you? Well... Yes! I'm sorry, sir. I just thought it would be easier for you if I printed off the emails and handed them to you to read out. You think that's easier? It is, but... Uh... Okay, you're not fired. Woohoo! But you are demoted to Printer Boy. Oh, uh... Thank you, sir. You are very welcome, Printer Boy. Now, where's my mail? Uh, you screwed it up and threw it behind you, sir. Yes, I did. Would you like me to print them out again? Yes, please. Uh, Dan? Dan! Oh, now it's time for Oddalicious, where I have you food and drink from your childhood. Uh, not today. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I thought you'd eat the food I was going to review, so I bought extra. Yeah, I know you did. Oh, well... No are delicious this episode. Enjoy this instead. These are Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles storybooks from 1990 by Carnival. And these hold great nostalgia for me. I absolutely loved these as a kid. Um, basically, they are your typical you know, storybooks, got nice little illustrations, but also they came with cassette tapes. And basically you could read along. And they were so much fun. My favourite one being Follow the Leader. Uh, it's the one I listened to the most, or read the most, and it was only £1.75, well. So we'll go through it a little bit. So it's got who's written by, Carnival there, it's got a lovely picture of the turtles. And basically, yeah, it's got the, like, Leonardo knew something was wrong. So many times he had led the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles against the Shredder from, you know, that kind of stuff. And basically you just read along with the story on the cassette tape and it's got sound effects and music and oh, they were just so much fun and it's just got like all the different illustrations they were great and a lot of the time i 
you know, I wouldn't really <laughs> read along. I would just sort of look at the pictures as the story was going, because, like, when that turns up, you'd hear, like, a ching, 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 like a big uh, monster thing, and then it goes to, like, the next bit, and you'd have Krang and Shredder talking, and they were just so much fun. And, yeah, um, it's really short review, really. I just wanted to... Um, because no one really reviews books <laughs> so I, but I, I think they are a big nostalgic thing for a lot of people uh, these books I'll go to the next one um, no more splinter or splinter no more sorry and it's another one I remember um, I think all three of these ones are the ones I had as a kid I may have had more but I remember follow lead the most and um, splint no more and I kind of recognize them um, return the tetandro there's a certain picture I'm actually looking for, but I don't think I'm going to find it. But, um, but yeah, this is all about Splinter, this one. Um, and I will play a little bit of a cassette tape. I don't think it's for one of these ones, but just to show you what it was like. Uh, but, oh, yeah, so good. And, oh, yeah, oh, God, I remember that picture. I remember it creeped me out as a kid. <laughs> I always found it really weird and creepy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it was just it's just kind of a little short review just to you know books aren't really talked about anymore. Oh I remember that when it gets hit and you get the sound effect of it going oh, so good. Even just looking at these little illustrations bring back so many memories. I'm sure there's a bit where they're slicing oh yeah and you had a ching so cool. And I'm pretty sure it does have like the total voices in it. I don't think it's the original actors obviously, but um but yeah, yeah, 1990, published by Carnival. Um, so yeah, I'll play a little bit of the one of the one of the cassette tapes. It's not one of these ones, but it's just one of the other books, and it'll just sort of show you what it was like um, being a little. Well, I was five years old then in 1990, just being a kid in the dark in your bedroom, um, just listening to this cassette. Because sometimes I wouldn't even read the book; I'd just listen to the story, and just. Just imagine back in 1990, just listening to it, and Turtles was like one of your favourite things ever. Just, ugh, so great. Returning to their sewer home one evening, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael, discovered that their master Splinter was missing. It looked as if he had been taken captive. Where? And by whom? So what do we do now? asked Raphael. Splinter's out there. I know Splinter's out there, dude, said Leonardo. But as ninjas, we've got to practice invisibility. We can't search the whole city for him. So cool. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, it was just a very short review. Like I said, no one really talks about retro books anymore. And just, I really wanted to mention these because they are a big, you know, big nostalgic thing for me. So please comment below and let me know if you remember these as well. Or if there's any other books that came with cassettes that you remember. Maybe there was He-Man, Thundercats, I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure there might have been Ghostbusters, but I'm not 100% sure. But the ones I remember the most are Teenage Mutant, Hero Turtles, or if you're in America... Ninja Turtles, <laughs> it was Hero for a little bit in the UK. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Like I said, please comment below um, and just let me know your nostalgic memories of cassette storybooks, basically. Prepare yourself for combat. Mortal Kombat action figures. Fight for right in your own tournament of champions. Liu Kang. Johnny Cage, Raiden, Get over here. Sub Zero, Reptile in the Dragon MK1, Kino on the Combat Cycle. Mortal Kombat, it's not just a game anymore. Combat Cycle comes with Kano, Dragon MK1 comes with Reptile, other figures each sold separately. I love to feed my baby because she's baby sip and slurp. Whoa, whoa. You mix the play juice and baby sip and slurp really drinks. Wow. The juice made darker for TV. She makes a cool slurping sound. Baby sip and slurp. Night falls. New adventure calls. We are gargoyles. Wings blast against the night. We are gargoyles and we've just begun a fight. Hunted by Evil Macbeth, he'll hunt us till our final breath. Gargoyles quake, gargoyles awake. Fighting Grumps comes alive. Power Wing Goliath makes a power dive. And mighty Roar Goliath, eyes ablaze, screams his rage. We are gargoyles.
When gargoyles come alive, evil can survive. Gargoyles. Figures in place and each sold separately. Batteries not included. Smoke it! Who dare to wear the mask? From zero to hero, the mask is one lean green crime fighting machine. He's a quick draw dude with maskitude. Dare to wear the mask. Somebody stop me! Figures each sold separately. Okay, Murray. You ready for Murray's mail? Of course. Here's your mail, Mr. Murray. Thanks, printer boy. You're welcome. Now it's time for Murray's mail. Murray's mail. Hey guys, welcome to Murray's mail. <laughs> well, I read out all the great mail that you sent me. My first message is from Christopher, and he says, How do you manage to keep track of all the toys and games you have in the room? Surely you must double buy stuff. That is a good question. Hey, Dan. Yeah? How do we manage to keep track of all the toys and games we have? Uh, well, I always plan to make a list of all the stuff we own, but I just keep forgetting. So to answer the question, nope, we don't keep track and I have bought doubles in the past, but mostly of games. Thank you. There you go, Christopher. We are useless. My next message is from Carol, and Carol asks, Murray. Are your eyebrows naturally that shape, or do you have them shaped at a beautician's? Carol, my eyebrows are naturally this shape, but I think I should go to a beautician's as they are getting a little bit unruly, as you can see. Okay, I have some great pictures to show. The first one is from Barbara, and it is of her hugging a popple. Do you remember popples? They were a popular cuddly toy in the 80s, and also had a cartoon. My next pictures are from Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Cool pajamas, dude, and wow, look at those wrestling toys. So cool! And that looks like Wily Cat from Thundercats. I had that as a little monster, too. Ah, so it's Christmas. Well, it looks like you had a great Christmas. You could have cracked a smile, you know. I wonder what was in those unopened presents behind you. I love Christmas. And this last picture is from my buddy Jack. Wow, look at that. King Murray takes over Sesame Street. Haha, <laughs> if I ever do go back to Sesame Street, I definitely will take over it. Look at that crown. I need a crown. I'm definitely going to get a crown. Thanks, Jack. Okay, that's it for this episode of Murray's Mail. Thank you so much for the people who sent in mail. If you would like to send me a message or a childhood picture, then send it to oddpodshow at hotmail.co.uk. This has been Murray's Mail. Ha, <laughs> that was great. Okay, Dan, time to wrap the show up. Okay. Well, everyone, it's the end of the show. We really hope you enjoyed. Uh, hello? Hi, your door was open, so I let myself in. Is this the Pod channel thing? Ah, yes, it is. You must be our new manager. Come in. Hi there. I am Lloyd, your new manager. Hi, Lloyd. I'm Dan. This is Boglin. This is Brock. This is Murray. And where's Flip? Oh, the uh, one in the kitchen covered in chocolate. Yeah, I met him. And I bet you thought it was me that ate the delicious food. Great. So, Lloyd, as the new manager of Oddpod, I'm sure you have a lot of plans for the channel. Lots of changes, giving me my own channel. Yeah, I have lots of ideas for the channel to help it grow and improve it. Sounds good. Could you tell us one? One what? One of the ideas. Oh, right! One of the many ideas I have. Well... Yes, I could tell you one of them. Yeah? What? Are you going to tell us one of the ideas? Oh, yes, the ideas. Well, you could vlog. Vlog? I love it! What's a vlog? Everyone is doing it. It's like a video diary. You can record your day, what you have for dinner, etc. I'm not sure about that. I'll do it! Really? Great! Okay, vlogs are go. What? Well, that's just one of my many ideas to help this channel grow. Trust me, you are going to be huge. Yeah, I guess we'll see. What should I call my new show? Odd Vlog? Murray's Vlog? Odd Vlog is good. Catchy. I like Murray's Vlog, because it has my name in it. Great stuff. Okay, guys, I'm going to go and start making plans and work hard to manage this channel. It was nice to meet you, Lloyd. Welcome to OddPod. Okay, now it's time to wrap up the show. Yes, thanks for watching everyone. We really hope you enjoyed this episode of the Odd Pod Show. Please watch until the end so you can see how you can follow and support the Odd Pod channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. How about reaction videos? No.
Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Odd Pod Show. If you'd like to follow us, you can follow us on Twitter at Odd Pod Retro. You can also search for Odd Pod in Facebook and join the Facebook group. And if you want to support the channel, you can become a Patreon by going to patreon.com slash oddpodshow. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you already haven't. See you on the next one. Bye.